Hello, Brownsburg High School. Thanks for watching BHS TV. Today is Wednesday, May 3rd. I'm Zach Travelstead. And I'm Drew Baum. And here's what's going on at BHS. Top Dog Cafe will be closing permanently on Friday, May 19th. The last day for new Top Dog punch cards to be handed out will be Friday, May 5th. If you currently have a Top Dog punch card, please be using them as they will not be accepted after May 19th. The annual Summit for Soldiers John Crow Memorial 5K will be held next Saturday, May 13th at Blast Off Park. Registration begins at 10 a.m. with race following at 11. This event helps raise run money and awareness for PTSD and suicide prevention, as well as remembering the life of fallen military officer John Crone. All profits will be donated to Submit for Soldiers. Registration is $15, and visit the website at the screen. Seniors, who is your best dancer? What about the person with the best laugh? Most hipsterish? The Reveille needs you to vote for this year's senior superlatives. Please remember to take the survey using the link sent to you in an email from Ms. Martin. Survey deadline is today. Training sessions for the Color Guard continue in the main gym on Thursday night. Session is from 6 to 9 p.m. You are welcome to join if you have not yet been in attendance. If you are interested in becoming a lifeguard for the summer and taking a certification class, please see Mrs. Wagner in the PE office. The class will start on May 5th. Equality Alliance meets every Tuesday in Mr. Lee's room in Senior Academy SA212. After school, Equality Alliance is an LGBT plus inclusive club and is open to everybody. They hope to see you there. Tickets for prom 2017, a tale as old as time, are on sale. Tickets are $40 each and will be sold at all lunches. Juniors and seniors who are planning on bringing an outside guest to prom, guest forms are now available in Team 2017 and Team 2018 offices and outside of Mr. Bain's room V211. They must be submitted by May 4th in order for your guests to be able to attend. BHS TV's very own Brittany Dial gave us a little more info on the extravagant night that is prom. Prom is the one night a year where high school juniors, seniors, and a few invited freshmen and sophomores have the time of their lives. A promenade dance, otherwise known as prom nowadays, is a semi-formal dance composed of high school students. Being a special occasion, high school students have been adding their own pizzazz to the event by prom posing to their significant other or even their best friend. Here at Brownsburg, our prom is located at the Indiana Roof Ballroom in downtown Indy. The night is filled with delectable foods, students in stunning outfits, and of course, wild music and dancing. Prom also has the opportunity for two seniors to win the glory of being voted prom king and queen, as well as others making up the prom court. After the extravagant night, students continue their weekend of fun by traveling to Ohio, where they will either go to Kings Island or Cedar Point and spend the day there seeking thrills. All those attending prom this weekend, BHS TV will see you there. Stay safe. This is Brittany Dial, signing off. Hey Drew, what are you doing this weekend? Are you going to prom? Ah, uh, no man. Indy 11 more important. Oh uh, yeah, it's my dad's birthday so I can't go. Well, now it's time for sports. Hey Rob, what do you have for us today? Hey guys, after a few days off due to weather, BHS athletes have been back in action this week. Last night, BHS hosted its first ever unified track meet when Avon traveled to take on the dogs. It was a historic evening as athletes competed in five different unified events, including shot put, long jump, 100 meter dash, 400, and 4x100 relay. Be sure to check out BHS TV's social media and YouTube page soon for a more in-depth look at the event. And thanks to all who came out and supported the student athletes. The boys and girls track teams also faced Avon last night. The girls had a nice outing that came up just short, falling to the Orioles by two points. In the field events, Gabby Vish jumped a personal best in the pole vault, followed by Sylvia Lewis and Allie Ray. Kaya Hill and Michaela Elkins took first and second in the long jump. Mackenzie Harless won the high jump with Sky Smith in third place. In the running events, Brooke Dixon won the mile, Lauren Reinhardt won the 800, followed by Brooke Dixon and Carly Altier. The 4x800 relay of Carly Altier, Gabby Bish, Anna Boone, and Lauren Reinhardt took first place, and the 4x400 team of Angie Nedow, Brooke Dixon, Michaela Barrett, and Lauren Reinhardt ran a season best to take first. The guys also came up just short of Avon. In the field events, Corey Griffin and Lee Nuttall tied for first place in the long jump. Devin Humes won the discus, and Eli Johnson and Richard Lang tied for first place in the high jump. On the track, Corey Griffin won the 110 meter hurdles, Tyrone Griffin was second in the 300 meter, Bryce Kurtz won the 200, Charles Vogelweed and Stuart Getty took first and second in the 3200 meters. And the 4x100 meter relay team of Lee Nuttall, John Hammond, Shai Semper Bay, and Bryce Kurtz ran a season best. The dogs will be back in action at home for senior night Thursday against Western Boone. The varsity softball team was also back on the field last night when they hosted Zionsville. The dogs got things going in the bottom of the fifth and took a 4-1 to lead. The Eagles battled back in the sixth inning to cut the lead to one. Two more runs by the Eagles in the top of the seventh were the difference, and the dogs fell 5-4. to four. 
CC Ridgeway and Kylie Anderson each had a double in the game, and the ladies will be back on the field tonight against Plainfield in their Cancer Awareness Night. The JV softball team also held Zionsville last night and earned an 11-2 win. Mallory Gordon pitched six innings and earned the win. Mara Wood went two for two, stole a base, and scored two runs. Kayla Tobin and Skyla Bolesky each went two for four and scored two runs apiece. Nice job, ladies. The girls' tennis teams continued their hot streak, defeating Ben Davis last night. The varsity won 5-0 over the Giants, and no one dropped a set the entire night. The JV defeated Ben Davis 9-0 to keep the dogs perfect on the night. And the ladies will be back on the court tomorrow night at Avon in their Ralph Nation match starting at 5 p.m. Good luck. The varsity baseball team finished their series with Westfield on Monday night. The guys split the doubleheader with the Shamrocks, losing the first game 11-10 and winning the second game 9-5. Tyler Byerly earned the win from the mound, while Jordan Jones led the offense going 5-for-5 five five from the plate on the night with three doubles, six RBIs, and three runs. And the varsity golf team traveled to Trophy Club on Tuesday night. The dogs shot a 176 and finished third behind two of the top-ranked teams in the state. Andrew Edwards led the team shooting a 38. The guys are back in action tomorrow night. Good luck. And any girls interested in playing basketball next year need to meet in Mrs. Guckenberger's room, G206, tomorrow, May 4th, after school for a brief meeting. That's all for sports today. Back over to you guys. Thanks, Robbie. That's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you on Friday.